listen, I'm going to be really short and concise on this one because I really did not care for this movie whatsoever. This movie is so forgettable. It is so forgettable. Sure, there's these firefighters who go around burning books, destroying every single physical book that they can find because they believe that books are evil and that the amount of information that society should hold should be much more limited, controlled. So all physical books and those stories, you know, the government, these firefighters are trying to destroy those copies so that humanity only thinks a certain way and humanity doesn't pay attention to what was written in the past. So all of that should have made a great film, right? Yeah, no. The cinematography is fine. Look, Michael B. Jordan is maybe the reason why I didn't rate this movie any lower. I thought that Michael B. Jordan was really, really good in this film. Like, you really felt that he was just like an ignorant man who was just obsessed with following orders, no matter what was being told to him. So one day, he educates himself, and he begins to educate himself more, and he begins to question the very reality around him. And Michael B. Jordan pulls this off fantastically. For example, all the scenes with him and Sophia, uh, particularly this scene right here, uh, when they're in this apartment room, and literally just the looks on his face, you could tell that like he's being educated. He's questioning his reality, you know? And it's it's, it's just it's pretty riveting to see. And Michael Michael Shannon is good as well. A lot of the interactions between characters in this movie were pretty awkward. Like, for example, like, there's a sequence where, like, it's Michael B. Jordan and the team, and they're all singing at this bar, or there's a time where they're riding uh, down the street in, like, a fire truck, and they're all singing, and, like, <laughs> it's like, okay, A, the singing, the singing is not very good. B, it's not like, you know, these moments are, like, comedic, or, like, you know, are making you be like, yeah, woo, it's just like, this, this just feels like a bunch of ignorant sons of bitches singing uh, completely out of tune. Like, this is awkward. Or, like, another sequence that was awkward were, was there was a scene with Michael B. Jordan and Michael Shannon, and they were, you know, they were sparring, right? It just, it looked terrible, you know? It, it wasn't executed well at all. It was just like, like, like aren't, aren't these guys supposed to be sparring? Like, where's some, like, tense music? No? You know, shouldn't this moment be, like, gripping? You know, cap uh, captivating? Shouldn't I be shouldn't I be flinching at each punch? Like what? And beyond that, like there's no there's no scene in this movie that is gripping or emotionally powerful. There's no scene in this movie where I had emotional response. You know, I didn't cry or anything, I didn't get riled up, there's no tension, it's it's not thrilling, it is not action packed. The the dialogue is forgettable or just very so-so. The movie tries to be deep and, and fails miserably. There's these sequences that happen again and again with Michael Shannon where he he has a, a weird habit of like writing these fortune cookie style messages. It's just like what is the point? What, what is the point of those scenes? Are they supposed to be deep? Am I supposed to be wild by them? Am I supposed to be thought provoked by them? Was I supposed to have my mind blown? Like, granted, you know, it, it gives us a, a, an understanding about, you know, him as a person and his personality, but, like, it's not that interesting, so I'm confused. Nothing. There's nothing about this film that is great, ex exceptional. This is something that annoyed me so much, okay? Well, this kind of visual is repeated throughout the film again and again and it's like why it's not interesting um there's nothing about it that says like oh wow there's a lot of really deep interpretations you can get from that yeah the, the, none of that is happening it's just like why are they making the same visual echo throughout the film again and again does anyone know because i don't know it's weird why what like are there are there people watching this kind of footage on like just giant s skyscrapers like why why are these images being projected onto the building you know like again when when i'm seeing these images on these buildings right here like am i supposed to be like really impressed or something like is there supposed to be something symbolic there that i should have picked up because the movie was made so poorly that like 
these moments just feel random and unnecessary. I I, I don't know. I personally, I'm 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 feeling a five, a five out of ten for this bad boy. I just thought that this movie was just forgettable and just boring in my in my personal opinion. I don't know. What do you think?